In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be his mother, Virgin Mary, our beloved mother tomb. The Gospel of today, dear brothers and sisters, is about the authority of Jesus. Oftentimes we just look about Jesus and upon him as a friend, as a human friend, but he's really more than just a human friend. He's divine. He's God. He has two natures. His first nature is God and he is spirit and he took our human nature to live with us and oftentimes we do forget this when I teach the children in the catechesis for first communion I always ask them why could Jesus do this and that and they would say well he was a magician well then I must tell them no he was not a magician he was able to do wonders, miracles, healings, because he is God and man, and not just a man. So he doesn't need any magic powers. He is the Son of God, and all power is given unto him on earth and in heaven. And so the disciples, they would wonder, and they would ask today when Jesus was coming to see, they were filled with great awe and say to one another, who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? They were astonished about Jesus and they were asking the right question. Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? Well, dear brothers, in these turbulent times, sea and wind, they would obey to Jesus. But does the heart of man obey to Jesus? Does the heart of man, the spirit of man, submit to the authority of of God and to his words, let us ask the Lord that we ourselves start submitting to the word of God and that we respect the authority of God and start obeying him so as he may work more and more in our world and that more and more of his blessing and of his joy, his deliverance, may come in our lives so that our souls may be calmed, so that peace may come in our lives, families, church, in our society. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, a blessed day to each one of us.